Hi, my name is Gary and I'm a developer at Sparkbox. Sparkbox is researching and comparing many of the different accessibility tools out there to help developers choose which one is the right tool for them. No tool is perfect and every project differs in needs. Today, I'm going to go over the Axe Accessibility Linter by DQ Systems. The Axe Accessibility Linter is offered for free from the Visual Studio Marketplace as a plugin for the VS Code Editor. Setup is as easy as opening the Extensions tab in your VS Code Editor, searching for Axe Accessibility Linter, and clicking Install. The linter has a zero configuration default and will immediately start to lint your files once it's enabled. Here, we're running the linter against our contrived astronaut test site, built explicitly for the purpose of evaluating each accessibility tool. Once the linter runs, it creates a list of issues in the Problems tab of the editor. Clicking on the issue will highlight the offending line and focus it in the editor pane. A double click will set the cursor at the line of the code. The linter automatically runs in the background and updates the list of issues accordingly. Issues in the file stand out with a typical red squiggly line that makes it stand out from the rest of the file content. Additionally, the listed rule violations are marked with the rule name in parentheses. Following the rule name, an additional one-line explanation is given. I find this convenient for folks getting familiar with the rules. Usually this hint is enough to make the correction without needing to rely on further research. However, the linter's output does make it simple to take a deeper dive within a rule by providing a link to DQ University's rule page. These pages contain a wealth of accessibility information. It's on these pages that you can verify WCAG standards DQ rule set associations, user impact analysis, and proposed fixes. I also appreciate the why it matters wisdom that is shared. As mentioned earlier, the linter is zero configuration, but you do have the configuration options if you find it necessary. Separate rules may be ignored, but it's also possible to configure entire standards if your project requires such things. Four WCAG standards may be configured, and there's also one non-standard best practice set of rules. Seamless integration into your coding workflow, zero configuration, and zero false positives all combine to make it very easy to adopt this linter into your project. A linter's chief role is to be an early warning system in your development workflow. By receiving feedback as early as possible, you address problems, lint, when they are fresh on your mind, and limit what issues will be found during a more thorough accessibility analysis later on in your development pipeline. Zero false positives mean that each issue is definitely worth your time to evaluate and resolve as they pop up. One unfortunate limitation of this linter is that it's available only as a VS Code plugin. It would be great if there was a CLI version along with availability within other IDE platforms. Linters have been a trusted development tool for years. Having a linter running during development can stop many potential issues in their tracks. The Axe Accessibility Linter is easy to set up and use, strives for zero false positives, and provides an abundance of actionable information along the way. Use this plugin with confidence. If you are looking for more accessibility tools, please check out our playlist with more Sparkbox accessibility tool reviews. For a full breakdown of the Axe Accessibility Linter, look for my Foundry article linked in the description below.